How's it going guys? Hope you're all okay. I'm on my way to the gym now and as you can see I've just had my uh, pre-workout meal. 150 grams of chicken and 150 grams of potatoes. Keeping it nice and simple. It's a great um, great pre-workout meal adding carbs and adding protein. People actually get quite confused as to when to have their carbs or what they should eat for a pre-workout meal. And it's really, really important to get your carbs in pre-workout and post-workout. Some people, they'll come out of the gym and they're absolutely exhausted, but all they'll have is a protein shake. And that's just not good enough. It's not fueling the body. You're getting your protein in, yeah, but you're not replacing the carbs that you've just used. It's all about feeding the body. It's all about replenishing the carbs. It's really important. What I'll do now, I'll have that pre-workout meal and I'll have the exact same meal post-workout as well as a um, protein shake, just to get the carbs in and get everything fueled up. But anyway, I've just arrived at the gym. Week two of Jim Stepani's uh, training split. Chest, triceps and abs. A little bit heavier today and a little bit less reps. Get it all on video for you this time. So let's do it. Welcome to Road to the Show, episode four. In this video, I'll be going over the chest and the tricep workout I did recently. So here we go. Starting off with the flat bench, on this weight we started off with 80 kilo for 6 reps. The second set was then 90 kilo for 6 reps. The third set was then 100 kilo for 6 reps, which at 82 kilogram body weight I was quite impressed with. Especially on um, low calories, low carbs, I didn't have as much energy as what I usually do. So yeah, I'll take that any day. And then the final set, we had to go at 120 kilo. On this one, I did struggle. I was quite, I was quite burnt out from the um, the previous sets, so I did have to have some help with it. But I powered through, and I still got the reps done. Yeah, he still had to help. My spotter still had to help with some reps, but at least I went and did it. So after this, we went on to incline dumbbells, six reps again, starting off with 25 kilo dumbbells, nice and easy to start with, and then working up the weight by 10 kilos. So the second set, I would say, working up with 10 kilos, was 35 kilo dumbbells. Six reps again, not a problem. In the third and final set of this uh, training split was 45 kilo dumbbells. Now, these are quite tricky. Like I say, when I was burnt out from the previous sets, I managed to get six clean reps, so I was, I was quite happy with that. I was quite impressed with myself with that. So it's all progression, and uh, next time I'll try maybe 50 kilo. And then we moved upstairs and onto the decline Smith machine press. Um, only 20 kilo aside on this, just to get a better squeeze. And that's not very often I do decline. Um, I find it messes with my shoulders quite a lot, and I just don't really like the movement. But as I said, I'm sticking to the training split, so you've got to do what you got to do. The second set, it was um, 80 kilo for six reps. Again, I didn't really struggle too much with this one. It was the third set when we went on to 100 kilo and I was just so exhausted by now, so burnt out, but I thought, why not, I'm going to give it a go. I don't normally do the movement, but I managed to get, uh, I think it was about, what was it, three, four, maybe three or four reps? Yeah, like three and a half reps and that was it. And then we went on to weighted dips, started the uh, first set with a 10 kilo kettlebell for six reps. And then after this, it was a 14 kilo kettlebell for six reps. And 
And then it was a, again, a 20 kilo kettlebell for six reps. In fact, it might have been eight reps. Yeah, it was eight reps. And then the final set, 24 kilo kettlebell for eight reps. After that, we went back downstairs and moved on to close grip bench press for the triceps. Start working them in a bit more. Started off with 20 kilos a side, so 60 kilo. And then we went straight up to 80 kilo in the second set. And then I felt, I felt like it really wasn't doing anything. I was just moving the weight rather than shifting the weight and lifting the weight. So I went back down to um, 15 kilos a side and just repped it out. And, and I, I felt like I got a much better squeeze from doing that. I know that's not what the training split says, but it's always good to go with what you know and what feels right at the time. And then the final uh, exercise of this um, video, it was the machine press but with a close grip, kind of like a close grip bench press but on a machine. I really, really enjoy this as you get a really good squeeze in the middle of the chest and you're also incorporating the triceps and making them work hard too. So we are, again, we have three sets of that. I only got one on video. But yeah, that was it basically. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one guys. How's it going guys? Just finished the uh, workout. I've got to admit, I much prefer doing lower weight and more reps. I feel like it I feel like it works a lot better for me. I feel like I get a lot better pump, obviously. But I just feel like it works the muscles a lot better. I don't feel like when um, when I'm doing high, high weight and low reps, I just don't feel, I feel like I'm shifting the weight and not lifting the weight, if that makes sense. I'm just, I'm just going through the motions and I'm not really getting any benefit out of it. I'm just moving it for the sake of moving it. And uh, that's not how bodybuilding, that's not how weightlifting should be. So I'm going to stick to the plan for six weeks, but I much look forward to the second part of the um, week where it's hammering the reps and getting the, as many reps in as you can and, and doing it that way. Because that's, that's, how body, that's how you do bodybuilding. That's how bodybuilding is done and that's how you get the most, the better results. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, I will stick to it. But roll on there the second part of the week that's all I'm gonna say but yeah that's it now anyway I'm done I'm gonna go and get the um, post-workout meal which was the same as the pre-workout meal so thanks for watching anyway guys and uh, as always I'll catch you in the next one cheers <laughs>